Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So this morning I am going to do a much requested little spend the morning with me. I literally woke up about 10 minutes ago. I've not yet been out of bed yet. I've just been laying here like I normally do. I normally lay here for like 40 minutes or something. Just thinking oh, I need to get up today. But... I've only been laid here for 10 minutes. The weather sounds horrendous. I can literally hear it like hail, like hailstone and raining on my window. So that's great. We've got another day of storm Eunice or whatever she's called. Why is the weather like this in the UK at the minute? Like what is actually going on? Why is it so bad? We're living in like torrential rainstorms. It makes me just want to stay in bed all day because I've got the comfiest bed literally in the world i'm not even joking everyone who sleeps in my bed says that it's the comfiest bed in the world i'm gonna get actually out of bed i haven't gotten out of bed yet because i've promised that i would do it from the moment i woke up obviously i've had to come around otherwise i would be a zombie on camera but this is as fresh as you're gonna get me so yeah <sighs> I always get messages as well about where I get my pyjamas from. That is like, I always get messages from that. Because I actually do have quite a good pyjama collection, I must admit. So these ones are actually from ASOS. Oh, I've got a mirror over there now, guys. So these ones are actually from ASOS. I got them literally only the other day as well, which is great. I also was supposed to charge my camera last night and forgot and left it at the side of my bed. So... The battery's really lacking, um, but it's fine. I'll put it on charge now. Let's make a coffee. I still, I'm in love. Like, this is one of my favorite things I ever bought, my kettle. I actually love it. Every morning when I come to make a coffee, I think I love you so much. For my coffee every morning, I just use the Nescafe Azera Intenso. I'm sure that I normally have like a colored one that's even stronger than this, but um, I didn't get that last time because I don't think they had it in the shop. So, yeah, I put this in my coffee, just like a normal standard coffee. I put one and a half scoops in so that it's nice and strong because I am literally addicted to coffee. Like, I know I am. It's really bad. Then I put two sweeteners in and soy milk. Did you know, apparently, I don't know who told me, so I can't remember what... I always shake my soy milk as well, so it's kind of like a bit frothy, the coffee. You're meant to put milk in before you put the hot water in because it burns the coffee. So that's a little fact that I only knew like two years ago. So I put quite a bit of soy milk in. This is actually soy milk light because I'm on a diet. And I actually think it's nicer than the full than the full fat soy milk. My fridge is so empty. It's only got drinks in it. It's really bad. But I'm actually going back to Leeds this afternoon. It's my dad's birthday tomorrow. So obviously I would not miss that for the world. So I'm going back today this afternoon so that I can wake up there. Um, so then when I come back on... Oh, I'm not, I'm not going until Thursday morning. I'll go shopping and get food, but there's actually no point. So I've been in, I was in Leeds as well last weekend, so that's why I've got no food in. Uh, I just had chicken and rice, that's nice what I had in. And I've got tuna in the cupboard, so I had tuna and jack potato. Anyway, enough of that. So yeah, put the rest in with hot water. And then with my amazing kettle that I in fact love. And I stir it in. I think I just shook the milk up. It's really like a nice, frothy instant coffee as, as frothy as an instant coffee can get to be honest so yeah and i like to drink everything through straws now to protect my teeth so cheers that's my morning coffee and then my little mugs i think i showed you in one of my last vlogs but how cute are they a little love hat but i hold it in my right hand so you can never see it so yeah coffee made um beautiful so on the morning, I have a wee bit for my breakfast, but one thing I do do every morning that you probably will not be interested in at all, but I'm going to show you because it's been the morning with me. I do it every morning when I wake up. I wipe down my whole kitchen every day with this, the pink stuff. Um, my mum uses this at home, my mum and dad, and it literally smells so good, like this is the nicest one i think in the world so obviously every morning i just like to clean down the kitchen so that i know it's all like tidy because you've got food or whatever on it and it makes it smell amazing so i put this all over wipe everything down and then with like a really hot dishcloth 
I actually use these ones that my grandma knits for me, like like a little knitted dishcloth. So yeah, I just put this in really hot water, wipe the whole thing down. Then, after, after I've wiped it all down, I put some really hot water in like the, the side sink. What's it called? When there's like the big sink and then there's the little bit, whatever that little bit is. I put hot water in there um, with a little bit of this. The best smelling thing, honestly, oh, it's not focusing. Hello? There. Don't know if you can see it because it's still a bit shiny. Um, this is the best smelling thing in the world. Like, my mum does this, so I started doing this. When I actually lived, because I, I moved out when I was younger with my ex-boyfriend. I don't know if anyone knows that. But I used to actually live with him for a few years. So, when I moved out, I did... Why is it not focused on me? When I moved out, I actually... Did, was obsessed with this mom we used to put it in like spray bottles of water and i used to spray it everywhere but now i just put it in the sink every morning i don't know why my camera's messing up so yeah i put a little bit of this in with hot water put this in after i've wiped down the sides and just leave it and it makes the whole place smell nice and then this smells gorgeous again so i'm gonna do that now this pink stuff smells so good so i've just wet the dishcloth it's really hot it's actually burning my hand a little bit and then, oh, just smells lovely in the morning. Actually, just show you, so this is what I meant by the little sink. So I put the thing in, really hot water. Then, if there's a flora, oh, this is hard doing it with one hand. Flora, just put a little bit in like that. And then, put my dish sauce in like this. And when the water is literally over the top of the cloth, then I'll just switch it off and leave it but that just makes the whole kitchen smell so nice now so yeah and then every morning i'll just flip these round make it smell nice and there we go my morning cleaning is done and my kitchen smells amazing so yeah i just have i think i've showed you on youtube before but mini crispy chocolate weetabix they are my favorite thing in the world no matter what I'm doing in life, I always have these for breakfast. Even when I'm on holiday, I have Cocoa Pops because obviously they never have um, mini chocolate crispy wheat bricks on holiday. So, yeah. So, I have 40 grams of these. So, I just measure them out. Every morning, like clockwork. Oh, it's a bit too much. And then I put it with some soya milk. And that is my breakfast. That's all I have, the coffee and the Weetabix. And then I'll sit down, eat this and watch Good Morning. With, oh, it's too early, they won't be on. It'll be Lorraine on at the minute. I like watching Holly and Phil in the morning. I love them, in fact. So, yeah, it's too early for that because I've always said normally it would watch at about 10 o'clock. So, like I say, I normally sit in bed for quite a while and fester before I get up for the day. But I've got things to do today, so... I'm gonna miss Holly and Phil, but that's fine. The rain will be on. Right, okay, so I'm about to get in the shower and wash my hair because it really needs washing this morning. So, obviously I can't film while I'm in the shower because I would get the camera wet and I'd be naked. So anyway, I'm gonna wash my hair. So I've been using, since I have my hair done in the last one of the last vlogs, I've been using Red Kent, so the shampoo and the conditioner. Then, I actually did it the other day, so I'm not going to put it in today because I feel like it might go a bit too much. But I used this for the first time the other day, the Milkshake Silver Shine Shampoo. And it was literally amazing. My hair went so ashy after using it just one time. I left it on for like five minutes. So that is definitely working. I love this product. That's really, really nice. And then today, because I haven't done it yet, I'm going to put the Orplex in my hair. So... I'm going to get in the shower, I'm going to wash my hair with these things. Then I'm going to towel dry it, put this in for 15 minutes, leave it, get out of the shower, wash it out again, and then my hair will be amazing. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do now. And then after I've done the shower and my hair, I will show you my skincare. Right, so my hair is washed, it is in the towel drying um but skincare is my main thing that everyone always asks me about so 
onto the skincare. Let's change my skincare and my skin went quite bad, which has never happened to me before, ever. Like, I've never had bad skin. I went to see Kat at Pellis and Co. This, again, is not gifted or anything. I just went there um, and she is really amazing with skin. She did me hydrofacials. I'm having hydrofacials now every two weeks and she changed my skincare. So I've been using Obagi. So I used to use Obagi. I don't really know why I changed, but I did anyway. Learned my lesson. So this is the Gentle Cleanser. Um, this is amazing. So I wash my face with this day and night. Wipe my face first. Use like a pea size. That's quite a big one, but it's like a jelly face wash that like forms up when you use it, which is really nice. So I use this every morning, every night. No matter what the occasion. I normally do it in the shower, but obviously I've done it off out of the shower today, so I can show you guys. So you can see when it's all rubbed in, I then just rinse that off like so. And just pat my face dry with my towel. Oh, I really need to get my eyebrows done. <gasps> ah, my towel's been st gotten stuck on my earring. There we go. Next up, I use the Abaji again. Everything I use now is Abaji, just so you know. So it is the toner tonic. This. Um, and you can see this one is has a number one on it. So I remember to use that first. And then this has the number two on it there. Um, so I use that on a daytime. Put some on a cotton bud. You actually, I actually have a little pot for cotton buds in, but you're stood on it right now. So I can't use that. So yeah, just put some of that on. So this is like the toner. Just put that all over my face. I feel like people will be wanting me to do like a 10 step, um, a 10 step skincare routine, but it's really not that, that simple. It's only three steps. But anyway, this is what I swear by. So I'll share with you guys. So when that toner is on, I then use the cream. So this is this cream. It is the Obaja Hydrate Lux Moisture Rich Cream. And this is so nice. You can see I'm nearly running out of it, which is really quite sad. I'm going to have to buy some more. The one thing I would say about Obaja is I know it is really expensive. Like, it is quite pricey. But I really do think, like, with skincare, it is the one thing that, like, don't get me wrong, I hate paying for it. Like, I genuinely hate the money coming out of my bank account. But it's so worth it. Like, these things have left lasted me, like... I think I've been on this for like six weeks now and the two bottles are no oh, the two bottles are nowhere near finished. It's just the cream is quite near the end, but I think I do probably put a bit too much cream on for what I'm supposed to, but I just like my face. I like the feel of it. I put it on all the time. I don't just put it on twice a day, I put it on whenever my skin feels dry, which is probably not right. Um but yeah, that is the one thing I know Obage is really, really pricey. But that is just personally what I use and it is like the best. So one thing I would say to invest in instead of buying yourself bags and shoes, skincare because it is really important. So yeah, that is all my skincare routine that I do. I really need to get my eyebrows done. They're really, really invisible and my eyelashes. So that is what I do when I wash my hair and my morning skincare routine. I hope that has helped answer some of your questions. Um, I do actually use a body moisturiser. This is the best of all time, like genuinely the best of all time. I'm going to put this on now before I dry my hair. So it is the Laura Mercier Creme Brulee Body Cream. I've actually got this for my dad for his birthday tomorrow because I didn't, well, I've got him some other things, but this is one of the presents I got him because I really love it. And if he doesn't like it, I'll just take it. But this is genuinely, honestly, the nicest smelling thing in the entire world. Oh my, it's gorgeous. Like, honestly. Every time I wear it, people are like, Mary smells so good. I'm like, I know. That's one thing people always say I smell good. I think it's because I've put so much stuff on. Um, but yeah, so this, I'm going to put this all over my body now. Really have a nice, it just smells. It smells like creme brulee. It smells better than creme brulee. Oh my God, it's amazing. So I'm going to put this all over my body now before I dry my hair. So I've just gotten dressed and made myself another coffee, my second coffee of the morning. Um, this outfit is actually going to be in a haul that is coming on Sunday. Um, it's from White Fox, which is my favourite place in the world to ever wear tracksuits from. Um, I know it's really torrential rain outside, but I like wearing shorts. It makes me happy and it's so warm in my apartment. I need to turn the heating off. So yeah, this is today's outfit. I'm going to put it on with some Nike socks and some slides. 
oh my god this light really exposes me right now <laughs> maybe i should only come on this light when i've got a full face of glam um but yeah so i just take my towel out as you can see it's kind of dried a little bit but it's not it's still soaking wet but it's not like dripping wet so then i put the revlon three in one spray in my hair this is like a leave-in conditioner um, and it just smells so nice again. Then, of course, I am going to use all of my favourite ever. Again, this is not an ad. I just love it so much. Cloud Nine. Oh, my God. I thought I just had seen a spider in my apartment. Oh, my God. I've never had a spider in here yet. I think it's because I'm quite high up. But the day I have a spider, my God. Luckily, I met my neighbours the other day and it was really, really nice. So, I feel like maybe I could knock on there and ask them to catch the spider. But... Oh, my heart just sunk. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna brush this through using the Cloud Nine paddle brush, my favorite ever. And then obviously I'm gonna dry my hair using the Cloud Nine hair dryer. My hair feels so soft. It must be from the Oplex. Is that what it's called, Oplex? How you pronounce it? It feels literally like so smooth. I love that. I love a hair wash day. I feel like when you've washed your hair, you just feel so clean. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, then I just used the Cloud9 like wide tooth comb just to put my parting in. Guys, the reason that I always look there is because there's actually a mirror there that I can see in. Um, so I, I know that's really probably annoying when I'm doing my YouTubes, but yeah, it's because I can see in that mirror. And then brush it down. My hair smells so good as well. This is really a great day. I feel like I'm really taking care of my hair these days, which I just am taught the hair for. Callum's gonna be so proud of me. So just push it all through. It's not even knotty at all. It must be because of all the conditioning stuff I've put in it. Then dry my hair using Cloud9 Evergreen Hair Dryer. I think this is called the Airshot Hair Dryer and it's just so nice. I was actually going to do the accessories in my dressing room green purely to match this um, this hair collection, the Evergreen collection. Like I was going to get a green sofa and then have like all the hair things out like a hair shop. But the Ikea dressing table does not allow that. I don't have any like slots to put the hair dryer in or whatever so thought against it but I actually was going to do that because I love this colour green and it's cloud nine I was gonna have a full cloud nine dedicated room as my dressing room but yeah so I just blast this off I'm obviously not gonna video whilst I'm drying my hair because it will just be so annoying the noise um but yeah I just like section it off dry my hair dry my hair but it's actually it's actually quite dry now to be fair now I'll brush it through it's obviously wet but it won't take me that long to dry because it's been in a towel for I'd say half an hour my hair is dried it feels so good my hair I know like obviously I've got extensions but my actual natural hair is probably the healthiest it's ever been I think it's because I'm actually using stuff on my hair now so yeah that is washed um but i am gonna bring this vlog to a close because it was just meant to be a little short morning with me and the morning is now over i just need to pack for leads and then i'm leaving to go home so that's really exciting but i really hope you've enjoyed this little mini short vlog um, i promise i'm back on youtube now every week and i've been really slacking recently and it's just not good enough so yeah i'm back here to stay really hope you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching guys